The common strategies which are followed by me includes goal planning, organizing, effective learning, hard work, etc. The method to success seems really difficult for a student to follow for good results. But we students need to understand these strategies of successful students in order to get good marks so that we too can perform well in our academics. First, I am actively listening in the online classes every day. Effective listening is the key to scoring in tests. Second, I always ask my teachers for help. I always ask my doubts from my teachers as and when I face any difficulty in any of the subjects. As we know that marks matters a lot in making one's future. If we want to achieve good marks, then we need proper guidance. We should have clear view of point that we have to achieve. Dedication and hard work towards the goal is important factor. Nothing is possible without it. In achieving good marks, planning plays a crucial role. So, here is my strategy that I am following in order to achieve good marks. I am attending classes regularly and doing my homework on a regular basis, which makes me easy to understand the concept. Knowledge is more important than marks. But also we need marks to enter a place where we can earn knowledge. Also, a person having good knowledge can earn good marks. The following ways by which I can achieve good marks are First, I set my goal and my goal is to achieve more than 90% in my board exams. Then, I follow my timetable and I strictly prepare my timetable. Success only comes after preparation. Preparing yourself helps you to achieve goals and it will help you to boost up your confidence. So here are the things which I am doing to achieve good marks in class strength. I have my schedule or timetable which I follow strictly. I have set my high goals to achieve 90% above in class 10th. I am attending all the virtual classes on the regular basis. I am doing or revising the assignments which were given by the teachers daily. Apart from this, I have started reading some novels to enhance my communication skills. Make sure your study space is organized because when everything is completely tidy and organized, it helps us to focus more effectively. Second, explain your answers to others like your parents or siblings. This will help you to boost your confidence level. Third, plan your exam day. Make sure you get everything ready well in advance of the exam. Fourth and the last point, drink plenty of water. Remember that being well hydrated is essential for the brain to work at its best. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, just keep moving forward. First, I wake up early in the morning. Second, I attend my class with focus and determination. Third, I do physical exercises which keeps me fit and healthy. Fourth, I do meditation also which keeps my mind relaxed. Fifth, I do classwork as well as my homework on time. Sixth, I participate in all the activities. And I have learned all these things from my mentors. And my mentors are my teachers, my parents and God. Healthy rising can be helpful to get good marks. Meditation can be helpful to get good marks. I will attend my online classes and after that I will revise all the question answers and what I have done in the online classes. I will revise all the things and after that I will clear out all my doubts with the teachers, uh, teachers and uh, that help me to scoring good marks in exam. And of course support of my teachers very helpful for me to scoring good marks in exam. Try to find out your weak points and work on it. Improve your handwriting, make important notes. Don't panic and distract. Set your goal for getting full marks. One thing should always in mind that is I can do it. I can do it. If you have a positive mind, you will surely get succeed. The teaching videos comes and I listen them carefully and I do homework and classwork in my different different copies. I revise all lessons that I have learned so that I will good 
I will get good marks in examination after revising the learned lessons. To achieve success in life, knowledge, values and good marks are so much important. Good marks take us on the right path of enlightenment. One who is successful in life has all these virtues. Following are my strategies which I am following to achieve good marks in my examination. First, I am focused and pays full attention on my studies. I listen to my teachers very attentively and obey them. I do optimum utilization of my time. I attend my classes at regular basis. I do my homework as well as classwork on time. <laughs> You have to challenge yourself if you have to prepare in your exams. Find your weaknesses. You have to find your weakness in your exams. I attend my school daily. I participate in all the activities. I learn with fun. I revise my all the revision. I learn one or two new words daily. I attend an online class and I revise all the question and answer of all subject. We should we all need to uh, to work hard, work hard to achieve our goal of success. We should all forget our our laziness because laziness can make to fail in our examination and fail our goal of success. We have to study 4 to 5 hours every day. I regular in the class. Fourth point, my writing should be neat and clean to get good marks. Fifth, whatever done in the class should be revised at home. I should only spend full time on my studies every day to get good marks. Good notes. This is important if you want to have easier time study later. Not only will writing the information note down as you learn. It help you in absorbing the information. And some of you know or some of you might not know that I scored 94.6% in my 12th board exam from PCM screen. So I am making this video because I would be more than happy if I can guide you to any way, inspire you to guide you to any way and inspire you to any way. And my tips for you to be very helpful for you. When we were sitting in all the classrooms and the principal sir came in, uh, and he just came uh, came towards me straight and in his loud and clear voice he told me Shruti, if you get less than 92% I won't even give you a single award in next annual function and that was a reminder for me that people have a lot of expectations and I also have to expectations for them वो मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ी इंस्पिरेशन थी कि प्रिंसिपल सर को मुझ पे इतना फेथ था जब मुझे खुद अपने आप पे इतना फेथ नहीं था द थॉट इन माय माइंड वाज कि अगर मैं किसी चीज के लिए मेहनत कर रही हूं सो व्हाई नॉट गिव माय कंप्लीट 100% टू इट बिकॉज़ मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जब हम सोचते हैं ना कि 90% आ जाए बस तो 80 भी नहीं आते और जब हम सोचते हैं कि बस पास हो जाए तब शायद हम पास भी नहीं हो सकते इसलिए हमेशा बहुत हाई गोल्स रखने चाहिए और जब ऐसा कहते हैं ना कि आप किसी चीज को बहुत ज्यादा चाहो तो एक्चुअली यूनिवर्स आपकी बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प करता है बिकॉज़ मेरे 12 इयर्स स्कूल के एक्सपीरियंस में आर प्रिंसिपल सर वाज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी द बेस्ट बिकॉज़ ही ऑलवेज केप्ट सो मच फेथ इन मी एंड ही ऑलवेज मोटिवेटेड मी अ लॉट all the school staff was so supportive and 
अगर शायद ये लोग नहीं होते मुझे गाइड करने के लिए मतलब मैं किसी से भी हेल्प मांगती थी एंड ऑल ऑफ देम वर ऑलवेज रेडी टू हेल्प मी आउट पे हार्ड वर्क तो सभी करते हैं लेकिन जब आप उसे एक प्रॉपर डायरेक्शन में देकर स्मार्ट वर्क करते हैं दैट इज द रियल थिंग विच गिव्स यू द राइट आउटपुट सो ऐसे कुछ मेथड मैं आप लोगों को जरूर बताना चाहूंगी द फर्स्ट थिंग वॉज लाइक दैट आई कट ऑफ ऑल द डिस्ट्रैक्शन मैं जितने भी सोशल मीडिया साइट्स पे थी मैंने सब को हटा दिया एंड uh, मैंने कोई भी बाहर के फंक्शंस में जाना बंद कर दिया आई रिमेंबर कि मैंने उस ईयर अपना बर्थडे भी सेलिब्रेट नहीं किया था मैं एक चीज़ अपनी बिल्कुल परसिस्टेंटली करती थी अपनी स्टडीज़ uh, में कि मैंने जो भी पढ़ा है मैं सुबह उठकर एक बार उसको रिवाइज कर लेती थी थर्ड थिंग विच वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू मी वॉज सेल्फ स्टडी बिकॉज टीचर्स आपको कितना भी पढ़ा ले, लेकिन अगर आप खुद उसका रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं कर रहे हो तो उसका कोई भी आउटपुट नहीं आएगा प्रॉपर नोट्स बनाने का एक फायदा ऐसा होता है कि आपको रिवीजन में बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प मिलती है एंड अब आप जब पन्ने पलट के देखते हो ना कि मैंने ये सब कुछ कर लिया तब एक अलग कॉन्फिडेंस आता है कि जब आपकी राइटिंग बहुत क्लियर होती है और जब आपने सब कुछ एग्जैक्टली टू द पॉइंट लिखा है तब एग्जामिनर को बिल्कुल भी स्ट्रेन नहीं होता इस पर उसे चेक करने में ही ही जेनवनली यूज टू गिव यू द मार्क्स एंड वो एक अच्छी राइटिंग से इम्प्रेशन ही अलग पड़ता है सो प्रेजेंटेशन कॉपी ही इज रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम माई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अपने जो क्वेश्चन पेपर सॉल्विंग थिंग्स हैं उसको दो महीने पहले स्टार्ट करो एंड यूज और तीन घंटे बिल्कुल टाइम में लगा के क्वेश्चन पेपर सॉल्व करना सो so, उससे तुम्हें क्वेश्चन पेपर लिखने की बहुत अच्छी प्रैक्टिस मिलेगी इज मेकिंग अ फॉर्मूला डायरी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक दिस इज माई डायरी ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इसमें मैंने चैप्टर वन से लेकर लास्ट चैप्टर तक सारे फॉर्मूलाज लिखे थे एंड जब भी मेरे पास थोड़ा सा भी फ्री टाइम होता था जब भी टीचर्स एक्सचेंज हो रहे होते थे एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग चिट चैट एंड गॉसिपिंग आई जस्ट यूज टू ओपन दीज डायरीज एंड रिवाइज द फॉर्मूला नर्वस मत होना टीचर्स की बात सुनना सारे क्लास टेस्ट को सीरियसली लेना पूरा अच्छे से पढ़ाई करना कि अ मैन कैन डू व्हाट अ मैन हैज डन किसी और ने अगर करा है तो तुम भी कर सकते हो तुम में भी पूरी कैपेबिलिटीज हैं अपनी एबिलिटीज को कभी भी डाउट मत करना और कभी भी अपने आप को लिमिट मत करना focus if we will have full focus on our studies that 
Yes.